Hello, today we are going to look at a review of the Amazon Basics vacuum cleaner, which is a 1.5 liter bagless vacuum cleaner. We chose this vacuum cleaner based on the reviews we read in the Amazon website. Now let us take a closer look at it. A basic but sufficient packaging. All the accessories and uh, the vacuum cleaner itself, they all come packed within the one box. The one here is the telescoping pipe. It seems nicely chrome plated, but I doubt how long the chrome plating would last. It extends and collapses with a nice click. Seems of a good quality, but uh, um, my only worry is about the the chrome plating. How well, how soon it would get scratched or peel off. That we'll have to wait and see. Here is the main hose. Quality seems good. Looks sturdy. Feels plush. The main hose has a, a power adjuster. Basically this controls how powerful or how less powerful the suction would be. Here is an adapter for uh, cleaning the floor I believe. This one has uh, a wheel, two small wheels on either side and a brush on the front to, to collect the dirt uh, which would facilitate it, uh, the brush would facilitate scooping the dirt and being sucked by the vacuum cleaner. Then there is a sort of a holder for fixing or keeping all various accessories together. Then there is a another larger adapter. This one has a switch to make the brush uh, extra extend out or to retract. This is meant for both carpets and wooden floors, or in our Indian case, uh, any t any sort of uh, tiled floor or normal cemented floor also. This again looks pretty decent, sturdy. And it, this too comes with a wheel for easy running it around on the floor. Here is the vacuum cleaner itself. Again, very basic packing, a plastic, a polythene cover. I kind of like the, the design, the shape of it. It looks a little futuristic. Uh, there are more accessories for sucking uh, dirt from corners, from smaller uh, objects and other things. The machine itself moves smoothly on two large wheels and a smaller wheel. The cable, uh, the retracting cable could be pulled out just by pulling it. You just pull it to the length you need. And to roll it back or to retract it back, all you have to do is press the button and it, it recoils back. Uh, there is a filter at the rear. It's got a filter guard which could be opened and behind that is the filter itself. I don't know if these uh, filters are replaceable, whether you get them as accessories, as parts. Uh, I'll have to check if they're washable either. Fits nicely with a snap and then place the filter guard back. The collection bin itself is interesting. It has no bags as stated earlier and it is 1.5 liter capacity. It opens on both ends, on top and bottom. On top there is another filter and then this is the cyclone maker as they call it. 
which, which in fact creates the force, enough force to, for the dirt and other things to be sucked into the bin. And this is the filter as I mentioned earlier. Again, I will have to check if they are washable. Snaps back nicely. And, and that is the level, the maximum level to which you could accumulate dirt. Once it reaches the level, you should open it, dump all the collected dirt Otherwise, uh, that is the, the efficient level within which the machine would work. And this is the duct through which the air passes through, gets filtered and gets out of the machine. So here is a smaller wheel which helps in the machine turning directions once it is there. These are the two large wheels I mentioned earlier. They seem a little bit flimsy, but I think they're sufficient for the job. Moves smoothly though. Not much of an issue. It moves freely. The main hose is connected here. Snaps in well. It's a good fit. Fits well. And this is the, the adjuster, the power adjuster, which again, the main hose again locks into the telescoping tube. Once again, the fit is uh, snug, fits in tight and with a nice click. This is the extended arm, as we saw earlier. On the other end, is where you fit in the adapter. Here again, with this adapter, which has got a lock, fits in pretty well. Moves smoothly also, and the joint twists pretty well to kind of reach nooks and crannies. Should be fine. Now let us hear. Let us try on some real world materials. Here are some peanut skins here. Uh, there you could see the cyclonic stone created inside that uh, jar. It's pretty interesting. Now some papers. Yeah, not bad. And the sound itself is not very loud in my view. I've used uh, other vacuum cleaners. It is relatively quiet. And here is some flour. Not bad. Let's try the flour with the with a sweeping adapter. Here we go. Okay, that's pretty neat. Not much left behind on the floor. Now time to dump all those collected into a waste bin. It's fairly simple. Press the lock and the bottom door opens. And straight away you dump it. And uh, you could see some paper is stuck between the, the cyclone creator. No problem, you could open the lid on the, from the top and remove it easily. So there it is. The cyclone creator on. It is fairly easy to empty the bin. 
the thing i like about it is once you remove the filter the entire bin could be washed with soap and uh, or any other cleaning agent you need not worry about anything uh, getting damaged uh, of or with water and here is the clean the tornado creator or cyclone creator as they say this again uh, it dismantles into two parts for better cleaning and what you see here is the cleaned one i just rinsed it with uh, light soap water i would like to clean, keep my bins clean and let it dry in the shade for a while and it's done i mean it looks as good as new so there you are the amazon basics vacuum cleaner seems pretty neat as of now a uh, good value for money i will get back to you after a few months with a, an extended review uh, or rather a long term review Thank you for watching. If you found the video interesting or useful, please consider sharing it with your friends and consider subscribing. Thank you once again.